In the ongoing effort to create sustainable aviation biofuel, an exciting step forward is occurring here in rural South Africa. This is the ones that are going to be processed into biofuel. What you're looking at is a nicotine-free tobacco plant called Solaris. They we're going to take these plants that we're growing out here, which are a, a hybrid tobacco plant that's nicotine-free, and ultimately turn it into biofuels for South African Airways to use in their flights. The endeavor is called Project Solaris, a partnership between Boeing and South African Airways, along with jet fuel supplier Sky Energy and research and development company Sunchem. It's a first-of-its-kind effort to turn these plants into jet fuel. We take the seeds that the plant yields in the flower and then in the seed pods, we crush the seeds and we separate two components. One is the animal feed, the other one is the oil. The oil is then refined, processed, into an on-spec sustainable jet fuel. Experts estimate as much as 50,000 hectares, or 123,000 acres of land in South Africa, is viable to grow the Solaris plant prompting South African Airways to set a very ambitious goal. Our mission is to be the most sustainable airline group in the world by 2022. One of the cornerstones of that project is actually to reduce our carbon emissions. And the only way to effectively reduce our carbon emissions is to have a biofuel. And if Project Solaris proves a success, it gives South African Airways a long-term viable domestic fuel supply and creates a major impact on the country's economy and job growth. A project like this has the ability to generate at least one permanent job per hectare. So we're looking at a, between 50 and 75,000 hectares. We've got to make this work. It's part of a solution for a lot of uh, alternative energy. So we as farmers, as well as a lot of other people involved in this project, really believe in this plant and we want it to work. In addition to South Africa, Boeing has biofuel development projects in the US, China, Brazil and the Middle East, to name just a few. South African Airways today imports 100% of its fuel. It's all imported and it's not cheap, it's expensive. Why not have fuel that's generated right here in South Africa using South African land, using South African labor and hopefully using a South African refinery to produce that fuel. 